Notice, this video is about clop, a word which here means pornography of My Little Pony characters. This video itself isn't going to feature anything pornographic, but I am going to reference such works and discuss them. Whether you choose to watch this or not is at your discretion. When it comes to works that are sexual in nature, an obvious thing to be thinking about is how the work treats consent, because consent is that magical thing by which sex is either a gesture of love or a crime against humanity. Consent is more or less a straightforward concept. It means that everyone involved agreed to the sex, and that the agreement was not forced or coerced by others. It's also important to note that there's different levels of sexual activity, and that people may only consent up to a certain point. For example, someone might consent to being touched all over their privates, but only while they're clothed, while someone else might consent all the way to full-blown sex, but not to a multi-person orgy. We can represent these various levels of sexual activity with the tried-and-true analogy of a baseball field, where each base represents a different level of sexual engagement. Urban Dictionary, the ultimate authority on all knowledge, defines first base as making out, second base as touching privates, third base as oral, and fourth base as intercourse, you get the idea. Consent by this analogy is about how someone arrives at the base they end up at. If they decide, of their own free will, to run around the bases, well that's consent. If they end up going around them by any other means, well, that's not consent, and they're being forced to action by someone else. So now that we have our field set up, let's invite our favorite ponies over to play ball. What we know from eight and a half seasons of Friendship is Magic is that the characters have never acted horny or remotely sexual in any way at all. Heck, there's very few acts of even romance in the show, so pretty much all of the characters are up to bat, with the various couples maybe at first or on the way there. Now we consider how the ponies move around the field, and from it, we can sort Klopp into three categories based on how they handle consent. They are consensual, explicitly non-consensual, and unprecedented, unwarranted. So consensual works are the suggestive and pornographic works that demonstrate that the activities portrayed are 100% consensual. These are the works that take the characters from the show as they are, put them in a somewhat realistic or probable scenario, and as the scene plays out, they make it very clear what's going on in the ponies' minds, so that when we get to the big moment, it's obvious that they consented every step of the way. By our analogy, these are the works that have the characters run around the bases of their own free will. An excellent example of such pornography is the Klopfek Like Fine Wine by Sleepless Brony, in which Rarity and Spike have SMOKING HOT DRAGON ON MARE STICKS! Now, seeing that Spike and Rarity start off the bases, with the only interaction between the pair being an unreciprocated crush Spike has on Rarity, it would be ridiculous to assume they'd actually run all the way home. However, before the two have sex, there's a whooping 14,000 words of exposition, awkward conversation, and romance, before the two do anything sexual in the last 4,800 words. So yeah, 74% of this fanfic is explaining how the two traveled from bat all the way up to home plate of their own accord, which meets our definition of consent. So, regardless of whether this is something you want to read, I hope we can agree that this clopfic is consensual. Moving on to the second category, explicitly non-consensual, we have works that are the complete opposite of those in the consensual category. These are the works that make it obvious that the activities involved are not consensual, so any rape porn will fall into here, as well as works that feature non-consensual acts of a lesser degree. An example of this would be the Ask Princess Molestia blog and comics, which, in case the name didn't give it away, are very non-consensual. While the comic itself isn't pornographic, and many of the interactions aren't full-on sex, that doesn't change how consensual it is, because consent isn't about how many bases are run, it's about the ponies running them of their own volition. With the princess forcing most of the sexual acts in the comic, it's definitely not consensual, and I hope we can agree upon this regardless if this is something you want to read or not. However, most works don't fall into either of these categories, as it's pretty extreme for a work to depict non-consensual activities, and it's uncommon for a work to explain the who, what, where, when, and why two characters have sex. This puts almost all of Klopp and suggestive works into a third category I call unprecedented, unwarranted. Unprecedented works are works in which the ponies act very sexually, despite the fact we've never seen them act sexually before. Any sexual work featuring main characters are going to be unprecedented, but works involving OCs and fan created characters won't be unprecedented, since OCs don't have any show precedent. Unwarranted works are works in which the ponies act very sexually, but there's no thorough explanation as to why they're acting this way. This entirely depends on what's been contextualized within the body of a work. For example, an image of two of the main six getting it on with each other is unprecedented, because we've never seen the main six act sexually in the show, and it's unwarranted because we don't know why they're suddenly having sex. 
Unlike the first two categories, it's not at all clear whether a work in this category is consensual or not, which is why it's helpful to come back to our baseball analogy. Unprecedented means the work puts the characters at a higher base than they've ever been, and unwarranted means there wasn't any point where they ran to that higher base. In conjunction with each other, this means that the work isn't consensual, because it's only consent if they themselves run the bases. They can't just magically appear at a higher base because that bypasses the process of consenting up to that point. Let's unpack this result a little more. What is it about unprecedented and unwarranted works that make them non-consensual? Well, because the work is unwarranted, we never see the characters give consent in the work. And because the work is unprecedented, we never see the characters give consent in the larger context surrounding the work. Thus, the ponies never gave consent. They never chose to have sex. Rather, it's the author who did. And that's what makes these works non-consensual. The author is the one choosing for the ponies to have sex, not the ponies themselves. Now, some of you might hear this and ask, but what if the ponies do consent and it's just not being shown? How can you conclude that they don't consent when we don't know everything about these characters? Well, let's be honest here. I don't know everything about these ponies, and neither do you. It's possible a sexual scene is a part of a larger consensual story. It's also possible that the affair is entirely forced upon them by discord. But either way, we just don't know which one is truly the case, and there's no way we can know. So at the end of the day, we can't assume any pony consents based on hypothetical scenarios. All we know is the ponies never gave consent in the work itself, leaving the act to be entirely caused by the author. Like Sir Isaac Newton once said, a pony at rest tends to stay at rest, unless acted upon by a horny fanfic writer. Anyways, that's something I think a lot of people seem to skip over when discussing Klopp and suggestive fan works. If the work doesn't provide an adequate, or any reason, for the pony's sexual behavior, those works aren't consensual because the behavior is induced by the author and not the character's free will. And I hope this is something we can agree upon, but knowing us, we probably won't. What remains to be said is how pivotal this result can be in terms of how people process these sexual works. For those who see them as consensual, the works can be an outlet for sexual expression. A sex-positive friendship is magic with benefits that should be accepted and not under siege by other fans who just don't get it. But... For those who see the works as non-consensual, the whole business looks a lot more like the sexual exploitation of ponies rather than people just being horny. And when a fan who cares a lot about these ponies views Klopp that way, they're going to be upset, which is why the fandoms had many fights about it over the years. There's a lot more I could say about Klopp, but I think that's enough mental titillation for this video. If anything I said doesn't make sense to you, feel free to ask me in the comments. If you want to continue the conversation, here's four questions you might want to ask yourself. How do you react to a work that's very pornographic, but fully consensual, such as, like, fine wine? How do you react to a work that's less explicit, but very non-consensual, such as Ask Princess Molestia? Do you find Klopp in general to be consensual or not, and why? Should we treat works that are consensual differently than works that aren't? And that's all. Goodbye. I was just surfing on the internet I'm just browsing art of NLP Nothing too bad yet Until I saw some I would not